You suspected that Amber was having an affair with James Franco, correct? Yeah, yes. You changed the locks to the penthouses on May 22nd, 2016. I attempted to. That's why you felt comfortable having James Franco over the evening of May 22nd, 2016, Miss Heard? I do not know when James came over. Okay, let's remind you. James Franco has revealed exactly how Amber Heard seduced him behind Johnny Depp's back and the internet has remained shaking up since. Most fans would be aware that although Amber Heard had put forward several allegations against Johnny Depp, most of them are not holding up in court at the moment. It must also be remembered that Johnny Depp, too, had revealed several allegations against Amber Heard and most of them are now making more sense than ever. Amongst the list of allegations that became public due to Amber suing Johnny included the fact that Heard slept with James Franco while she was married to Depp. So how exactly has James Franco made this revelation and where do things go from here for Heard? Let's find out in this video. James Franco, whose film and TV career stalled after multiple women accused him of sexual harassment in 2018, was the victim of new charges of being sexually inappropriate with Amber Heard just as her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, testified Wednesday in his libel action against the British tabloid Daily. Depp testified at London's High Court that Heard referred to Franco as rapey according to the Evening Standard. When they were shooting together for the 2008 comedy film The Pineapple Express, Depp claimed that the actress told him she was forced to flee his sexual advances. Here's exactly what Johnny Depp had to say. She told me many things that were very, very negative about Mr. Franco, that he had tried to kiss her and made sexual advances towards her on the previous film they had made together. Depp testified. She said he was a creep and a rapist. She said he was quite aggressive in his advances towards her. According to the Evening Standard, Depp made these charges against Franco in reaction to Hurt's claims that he was so envious of her and Franco working together again on the private jet flight in 2014 that he flew into a blind rage and became confrontational against her. The 57-year-old Pirates of the Caribbean actor is suing newsgroup newspapers and Dan Wooten, the tabloid's executive editor, over a 2018 article that called him a wife abuser and said he abused her, 34, during their 15-month marriage. According to the Daily Mail, Depp has categorically denied ever physically assaulting Heard, with the actor testifying that the sociopathic actress was abusive toward him and manipulated their relationship to further her career. Depp said that his southern background made it unthinkable for him to ever be aggressive to a woman. The Sun's lawyers claim that the publication's portrayal of Depp as a wife beater is entirely accurate and truthful. According to Reuters, they offered considerable evidence that supports the defense's claim that Depp assaulted her during violent rages driven by booze and narcotics and motivated by wrath and envy. Photos, audio recordings, and Depp's own text messages are among the proof. Last Monday, Amber Heard appeared to the High Court in London to attend Depp's trial. Lawyers for British tabloid The Sun, which is defending a libel action after dubbing the Hollywood actor a wife abuser, had been grilling Johnny Depp for the second day. They met on the set of The Rum Diary in 2011 and married in February 2015. Heard, on the other hand, filed for divorce in May 2016 and the couple's divorce was completed in 2017. Because Depp's counsel alleged on the trial's opening day that the actress had extramarital affairs with both, the libel case has pulled in both Franco, 42, and Tesla CEO Elon Musk. Both Franco and Musk have denied having a romantic involvement with her while she was with Depp, according to Page Six. After she divorced Depp, Musk and Heard were recognized as a couple and they purportedly had an on-again, off-again relationship that lasted until 2018. Depp testified that he and Heard clashed over her desire to work with Franco again on the 2015 film The Adderall Diaries, according to the Evening Standard. Depp was confused, given that she had previously spoken about the terrible meeting with Depp. Franco made repeated sexual approaches, according to Depp's account, him bending over and saying, I'm going to kiss you. Depp admitted to being jealous of Heard's desire to work with Franco again, telling the court it shocked me she was suddenly so friendly and happy with him. He also said that Heard's desire to work with Franco again did not align with her declared goal to avoid becoming a sex object in movies. She was hoping to do better films with more meat in the part. She didn't want to be objectified and didn't have to do nude scenes anymore. Depp said during his testimony, I was of course uncomfortable with the idea of her doing nudity. Depp reportedly hit her across the face, kicked her in the back and pelted her with ice cubes during an altercation on a private jet ride in 2014. Depp was questioned if he called her a slut during cross-examination and she was urged to explain how much she liked getting off with Franco. Depp also proceeded to deny ever hitting 
getting hurt. There is a possibility Miss Heard and I had a fight where those words came out of my mouth, but I didn't go into a rage and start screaming at her in front of all those people. Depp's depiction of Franco's allegedly creepy conduct comes nine months after two women filed a complaint in Los Angeles County Superior Court alleging that the freaks and geeks actor and his collaborators sexually abused them while they were students at a now defunct Los Angeles acting school. Franco allegedly pressured his pupils, Sarah Titha Kaplan and Tony Gal, to conduct more graphic sex acts on camera in an orgy type atmosphere, according to the ladies. The women said that if they cooperated, they would be offered roles in Franco's films. In a January 2018 Los Angeles Times article, five women, including Tither Kaplan, claimed Franco harassed or abused them while they were students at Studio 24. The news was also revealed by the Los Angeles Times four days after Franco was set to kick off a recording breaking award season. On January 7, 2018, Franco collected the Golden Globe Award for Best Actor in a Comedy for his film The Disaster Artist in front of a global television audience. It was his first major honor of the 2017-18 season, and the Golden Globe was expected to propel him into consideration for an Oscar nomination for Best Actor. Johnny Depp denies assaulting ex-wife Amber Heard in a spat over a Wino Forever tattoo and tells how a Russian go-go dancer is helping him recover from Amber Heard's heartbreak. Amber Heard went into great detail tale about her ex's horrific boyfriend's assault charges. The Me Too and Time's Up movements have gained steam by January 2018. Accusations that Franco was disrespectful to women began to surface only hours after the Golden Globe performance. Following the Golden Globes, the Palo Alto Unified School District asked that a mural Franco sketched at Palo Alto High be painted over a few weeks. Franco graduated from Palo Alto High School in 1996 and was a frequent visitor on campus. Other artwork that Franco donated to his alma institution in 2014 was also to be transitioned off campus, according to a statement made by the school administration. Pelly High's most prominent graduates' efforts and donations were removed after parental pressure and school controversy. Since 2017, Franco's career has stalled, according to the actor. Franco's career has slowed since 2017, with the actor saying in late 2017 that he was going to take some time off. Through his attorney, the actor denied the allegations in the woman's lawsuit. James will not only fully defend himself, but will also seek damages from the plaintiffs and their attorneys for filing this scarlet publicity-seeking lawsuit. His attorney Michael Plonsker said in a statement. If the three-year-old and counting case survives the latest summary judgment motion set for a March 24 hearing, James Franco, One Division, star Paul Bettany, Elon Musk, representatives from the Walt Disney Company, Warner Brothers, and the LAPD will join friends, family lawyers, and other associates of the formerly married Rum Diary co-stars in the Virginia courtroom. Depp and Hurd's private communication with some of Hollywood's biggest stars and power leaders will also be made public. Furthermore, the billionaire Elon Musk and actor James Franco will not be testifying in the slam trial of Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. While the two celebrities were widely expected to testify, the Washington Post can today exclusively report that they will not be in the courtroom in Fairfax, Virginia. Both individuals were included on Hart's publicly available witness list at the start of the trial, but Musk's lawyer Alex Spiro stated his client will not testify on Wednesday. Franco will not testify too, according to a person familiar with the case. Depp 58 launched a libel suit against The Sun in the United Kingdom in 2020 after a story called him a wife-beater based on Hurt's allegations of abuse, became involved in the case. Hurt testified in that lawsuit that Franco asked her what the fuck happened to her face after Depp allegedly flung a phone at her. On May 22, 2016, the Oscar nominee paid a visit to Hurt at her and Depp's Los Angeles penthouse the day after the claimed violent altercation with her then-husband, she said. We were talking. Oh my god, what happened to you? He said. Franco, whom Depp allegedly accused of being her boyfriend, is believed to have remarked. That will be all from this one, folks. What are your thoughts on this developing story? Do share them in the comments below.